Um, I have one more question. I'm a bit confused between the two verses in Quran. Um, the first one is in Surah Baqarah 62, yeah, which says that if you believe in one God and believe in the last day and do good deeds, yeah, you shall have nothing to fear on the day of judgment, yeah, and you will get your reward with your Lord, yeah. Mind it, in this surah, it doesn't say it, uh, that you have to believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the last messenger. And there is also another surah which supports this, which is the 22, in chapter number 22 and verse number 17, I think, in which it says a similar thing, that those who, do, who believe in one God, who believe in the last day and who do good deeds will be fine on the day of judgment. But then there is also one more verse in the Quran which says that whosoever amongst you comes to me without the religion of Islam, it shall not be accepted of him and he shall be among the losers. So in that last verse, does Islam mean believing in one God and believing in Prophet Muhammad and believing in all the other rituals? Or because Islam means submission, so whoever has submitted, yeah, is submitted. So, you know, what's the meaning of Islam in the last verse? The brother asked a very good question. He's quoted the verse of the Quran of Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 62, that all those who believe in Allah and believe in the last day, irrespective of whether they are Jews or Christians or Sabians, they shall have no fear and inshallah they will have the reward. Similar thing is repeated in Surah Maida, chapter number 5. So, brother is asking that here the world doesn't mention believing in Prophet. If you read the context of this revelation, brother, what happened? People came to the Prophet and said that we have been Jews, we have been Christians, we have been Sabians. Can God forgive us? In that context, the reply was given, as long as you believe in Allah and the last day, irrespectively previously, whether you're a Christian or a Jew or a Sabian, you will get the reward. It does not mean today a person who says he's a Christian and who believes Jesus is God, he will go to Jannah. No, it does not mean that. Not Jesus is God, believes in one God. Ah, believes in one God. But if they believe Jesus is God, then they won't go then to Jannah. That's fine. But my, fine. Concept, my point is, yes. believes in one true God. Correct. So he has to believe in one true God. And if he believes in true God, he also follows the commandment of God. Simple. Yeah, but maybe he's confused with that. Yeah. So that means he's believed in a confused God. No, he, believe, he, he believes in his creator, yeah, but he, he's not yet reached that level. So then if you ask me the question, a person who truly believes in God and a little bit confused from his heart and yet doesn't believe in Prophet Muhammad, will he go to heaven or hell? That's your question. My question is, he's clear that there is one God. Clear there's one God. He's confused in the prophethood. He does not do idol worship. He does, does not do that. He believes in one God and does good deeds and believes in the last day. Can he go to Jannah is your question. Yes. Fine. This answer, and I'll come to your last question also about that Islam is only way of life. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 116 if Allah pleases he may forgive any of your sin but the sin of shirk he'll never forgive okay if yeah. Allah pleases he will forgive any sin mm. but the sin of shirk he'll never forgive yeah. this means the only sin that God will never forgive 100% is associating partners with God sure okay. so if you believe in one God yeah. don't associate partners but do not believe in Prophet Muhammad can you go to heaven? Yes. Chances are there very bleak. Okay. Maybe 0 0.00000001 percent. I can't say 100 percent no, because yeah. if you're not doing shirk, other verses talk about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. So if you truly believe, you have to believe in Prophet Muhammad. Yes. But if you ask me no, suppose I believe in God and if I die today. Yes. If you did good deeds, you believed in God, chances are there very, very little. Like you jump from the 100th floor, Chances you live is there? Yes. How, so much, how much are the chances? How much are the chances? Of getting saved how in that state. It? So if you jump from the Buruj, yeah. Buruj of Dubai. And then you're going to go to hell. I mean, then I'm no, no. you're going to die. Not die. <laughs> can you live? Yet you can live. Chances is 0.001%. Yes. So the same chances here. But I, ha no, I have two verses of the Quran supporting yes. me. That you believe in one God, you do good deeds, and you believe in the last day, you shall have nothing to fear on that day. That's what I have to you. Yeah. Two verses, but the context of the verse is what? Yeah, that the context know. of the verse is when people came to Prophet Muhammad and they wanted to accept Islam that previously we were Jews, we were Christians then the verse is there. So yeah. context is important. And coming back to your first question mm -hmm. that Quran says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse number 19 in Naddina in the Lail Islam the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is submitting our will to God. Submitting. Yeah. Submitting our will to God. And Quran also says in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 85 if anyone desires any other religion besides Islam, it will never be accepted of him. And he shall be amongst the losers. Yes. So now submitting our will to God means 
First, you have to find out which is the true God. Yes. And when you find out, you have to come to Allah. Yes. You can't say, I believe in true God, but in Jesus. I believe in no, true God. No, I believe, I believe in Allah. Huh. That's, so if you believe, I believe in, in Allah, in God, yes. you have to follow what is the commandment of Allah. Now, when, when I, you believe in Allah, and if you don't come to commandment of Allah, that means it's not a true Allah. I believe Allah is not created by anyone. He is not born of anyone. He doesn't have kids. Uh, he, you know, correct. Kul hu Allahu ahad Allahu samalam yalud walam yulad walam. Mashallah. I believe in that. Mashallah. Yeah, but that's okay. that's where my state is. That's right. Yeah. So now, now that's not complete Islam. That's part of Islam. Yeah. Part of Islam. Yeah. So now, part of Islam will take you to heaven. Chances are very little. Very little. Right, right. You know, very little. Right. Even believing in Prophet alone will not take you to Jannah. You may believe in one God, believe in Prophet, but do bad deeds, you will not go to heaven. Fine? Yeah. So what you have to realize, your chances is very bleak, like jumping from Buru to Dubai. Right. And then living, that's your chance. If you believe that true God, when you know where you got the school of Allah was, from where? From hmm. where you got this from school of Allah was? I got it from the Quran. From the Quran. Yes. So from the Quran, you also get yeah, Surah Muhammad. That, that Jab, part ah, agrees with my brain. That part agrees with my brain. Yeah, the rest I have questions. So uh, what question you have asked me, I will try and right. <laughs> so on the day of judgment I can tell you I gave this brother, I tried to remove the misconception. Right, okay, I'll take uh, well that's a little bit of a private question. I'll ask you through email. Okay, fine. One no more problem. Question, the last question. So when you ask from email, yeah. when you get convinced, that time I'll ask you to believe in Prophet Muhammad also. Sure, sure. Okay. Fine? Yeah, my last question is uh, we see uh, this uh, the the style of uh, the kalima, yeah, that 